Chapter 15 The Burden Against Moab Because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and destroyed, because in the night Kir of Moab is laid waste and destroyed, he has gone up to the temple of Dibon, to the high places to weep. Moab will wail over Nebo and over Medeba. On all their heads will be baldness, and every beard cut off. In their streets they will clothe themselves with sackcloth, on the tops of their houses, and in their streets every one will wail, weeping bitterly. Heshbon and Eliela will cry out. Their voice shall be heard as far as Jehaz. Therefore the armed soldiers of Moab will cry out. His life will be burdensome to him. My heart will cry out for Moab. His fugitives shall flee to Zoar like a three-year-old heifer. For by the ascent of Luchith they will go up with weeping, for in the way of Horonaim they will raise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim will be desolate, for the green grass is withered away. The grass fails, there is nothing green. Therefore the abundance they have gained and what they have laid up they will carry away to the brook of the willows. For the cry has gone all around the borders of Moab, its wailing to Eglaim, and its wailing to Beer Elim. For the waters of Daimon will be full of blood, because I will bring more upon Daimon, lions upon him who escapes from Moab, and on the remnant of the land.